most of the time on Oklahoma gardening, when we're digging in the soil, it's areas of the garden that have already been amended with organic matter, and the soil's in pretty good shape. But I imagine for most of you, when you go to plant a tree or shrub, you've got good old Oklahoma red clay, just like this hole I've dug out right here. And when it comes time to plant a tree or shrub, you may find that you don't meet with much success at getting that plant to get established. Well, today I want to give you a few tips on how to have success even though you're faced with a heavy clay, poorly drained soil such as this one. The trick is to keep in mind the way trees and shrubs grow, the way that their roots get established. And if you look at this diagram, you can see that the way we like to see gardeners plant trees and shrubs is to dig a very wide hole, a saucer-shaped hole that is at least twice the diameter of the root ball or the container of the tree or shrub that you're growing. The reason for that is that the majority of a tree's roots are in the top 6 to 12 inches of soil. They don't grow down real deep. Any roots that do are simply anchor roots that help anchor that tree. But the vital roots that absorb water and nutrients are in that top 6 to 12 inches. And so it pays to dig a very wide hole, a saucer-shaped hole, so the roots can grow out into it. If you just dig a hole that is the same diameter as the plant that you're putting in there, tree or shrub, the roots will just have to grow straight down. They won't be able to grow out because you have a heavy clay. So we've dug out a saucer-shaped hole to plant this bald cypress tree. Now bald cypresses are an excellent example of a tree that is very tolerant of a heavy clay soil. They'll take either a very wet soil next to a swampy area They'll also take dry soils, and if you've ever visited the OSU campus, you've probably seen bald cypress trees growing there and realize how tolerant they are of heavy, compacted soils. Now, this was a container-grown plant, but it by no means has gotten pot-bound. If you buy a tree or a shrub right now, that has been container grown, you want to make sure and loosen those roots up so they don't con continue growing around in a circle. Now this bald cypress and any other trees that you plant really does not need to have any peat moss or any amendments added to the soil. If you're growing some specialty crops such as blueberries, you might need to add something special. But in this case, we're just going to backfill with the native soil but it's already been loosened up. The tree has a nice area for the roots to grow into, and then we'll mulch over the top of that. Another key is not to plant the tree too deeply. We'll backfill with soil partially, and then I'll put a little bit of mulch on top to hold in moisture, but I don't want that tree to grow much deeper, much deeper than it did in the nursery. In fact, we'd like to have a third to a quarter of that root ball above the soil line. Once we water this soil in and it settles in around, we'll probably have that situation. Now, if you're in a case where the soil is poorly drained, where water tends to stand, you can raise up the planting height even more than we've done here. If you're in an area that has a very sandy soil, but water won't stay put, you can build a dike around the tree, some form of a uh, saucer around it to help hold in moisture. I'm going to water this in, and then we'll put some mulch on top. Now, we don't consider fertilizer essential or starting starter fertilizers or starter solutions to be essential on newly planted trees and shrubs. We found that the important thing is to have a good wide hole for the roots to grow into, provide the tree plenty of adequate moisture, and keep the tree mulched to hold in moisture and keep those roots nice and cool the first season of growth. And the first year of growth on any tree or shrub is the most important year. That's the year when it needs good conditions for root growth. Last of all, 
If you'd like a copy of the diagram that I was showing you, you can write to us here at Oklahoma Gardening. We'll send that to you. That'd be a handy guide for how to get trees and shrubs established in four clay soils in your area of Oklahoma.